When making a cake tester, I select good, clean bristle trimmed off the top of an unused broom, and I'd like to make it about six fingers in length. So maybe about right there, six fingers in length. You start with your front of the broom corn and the wire, and you run the wire above your hand, above that six finger length, through the broom from one side to the other. And you run enough wire out the side so that when you fold the wire over, you'll be able to see it sticking out the top of the broom. Then you make a gentle turn. Gentle because you don't want to just draw the wire right back out the broom. You'd have to start over. Just a gentle turn. And once you've got around there, one full rotation so that you've actually see two wires directly below that tail end sticking out. Then, and only then, you cinch it up. Having had that wire come out at a 90 degree angle, prevents the wire from drawing back through the broom too very easily. Then take your thumb and push the wire into the broom. And push it just a hint, push it all the way through the broom so that you come out directly over where you started. Do not leave it there, but make sure you have a clear path to there. And come around. Another one complete turn. I like to cinch that up tight enough so that it flares nicely. That's just a visual thing, not entirely necessary, but you want an attractive product. And then as you, as I call that the back of the broom, because that's where the wire is at first went in. And we're going to make three turns and we're going to make a V about a half inch or so up the broom. Straighten that V out so that it becomes an N. Visible or not. Cinch that down again with another three turns. And draw that wire right out the back where you initially had it laid in there. That's the reason you drew it out initially is to clear that channel because once this is bound up tight, it becomes far more difficult to draw that wire out and snug it down as close as you can to that top wrap. Cock the broom so that the wire coming off of your reel hooks over that top wire that you just bent down. Clip and twist. Now, when you're twisting the wires together, make sure that you keep those wires kind of helicoptered out there so that what you end up with is a proper twist and not some sad wire wrap. I'll show you examples of both as we progress here. A proper twist, the wires go one round the other and vice versa. With a wrap, the wires are going to go just around one or the other. And that's a proper twist. See how nice and tight and smooth and even that is? If the wires had been just a little bit off on their angle, you'll end up with, instead of a twist, you'll end up with something that's kind of sloppy and prone to fall apart. Utilizing a pair of diagonal cutters or wire snips, reach down there close to your last proper twist and cut, if you can, across both pieces simultaneously. The reason you do that is because it provides your cut edge there with a chisel tip. Take and fold the chisel tip down so that it's ready to be pounded into the broom. And that is your basis for your cake tester broom. The next step is to plat it. 